Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Just made it to Mexico. We're in Cancun for five days. We're here at Garza Blanca. This place is freaking beautiful. Like the decor, we got a little bathtub. We got a little double vanity, we love that. Jake is already <laughs> in the hammock. Are you enjoying yourself? <laughs> oh, this is a pretty view. This place is ridiculous. It's so freaking pretty. We're about to change into our bathing suits and enjoy the beautiful weather. It's literally like 80 something degrees. <laughs> so yeah, I think we're about to change into our bathing suits, go down to the pool and just hang out and relax because that's what this trip is for. We're so freaking excited just to like be on a trip together, like one-on-one, -on -one, spend some quality time together because I feel like when we're home, I'm working like a dog, he's working like a dog and we actually have a dog too. So it's basically another person to take care of, but yeah, this will be a good trip. Just changed into bathing suits. Ready to go explore. Jake has to get his throwing in, so he brought me a glove for this trip to literally throw with him. <laughs> if that's not a supportive wife, then I don't know what is. Ain't that the truth? Mm -hmm. Why am I so pale? <laughs> you are pale. You gotta catch up. Just kidding, this is a spray tan. We had our last game yesterday. That's crazy, that was yesterday. That feels like a week ago. Stray or not, but they're everywhere. There's literally a dog in the ocean right there. There was a dog in the pool earlier. I'm just just, just chilling. It's my kind of dog. Aww. I miss Jax. <laughs> Hi, bud. Just had a good little throwing sesh. We just ordered some drinks. Got a margarita. Jake got a Jack Daniels. <laughs> and diet. Sugar free, baby. Still trying to be healthy, but like not that healthy. This view will never get old. So I mean, want to go get the pool. Yeah, low key. You know, you want say, to? you know how to say pool in Spanish? Give me a hint. Oh, wait, I totally know what pool is. No, I don't know. Tell me. La Pasina. La, La Pasina. Okay, Jake actually knows a lot of Spanish because he plays baseball with a lot of Spanish Dominicans, players. Dominicans, Venezuelans, Mexicans. Yeah, so he's also. picked up a ton of Spanish. But yeah, it is five no. First meal we had was really, really good. So dinner is high expectations. The highest. <laughs> okay, this is also me and Jake's first time at an all-inclusive. So we've just been like going crazy and the first day is not even over yet. So we're gonna get our money's worth. Yeah. So yeah, it's been great so far. I plan on this hotel losing money by the time. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little concert going on. Look at you, look at you. Mama see that. <laughs> All right, just quickly changed into outfit for dinner. Simple blue dress with these heels. I think they're Gianna Beanie. This is like, honestly, probably day four of my hair. <laughs> I still have not washed it from yesterday's game, but I'm obsessed with this dress. I think it's from Super Down off Revolve. It's really comfortable. It literally feels like swimsuit material. I don't know, but it's like super comfy, super stretchy, and these shoes are like really comfy too. I think we're about to go get dinner. You ready? I did my makeup in like literally five minutes, so it probably looks atrocious but I don't really oh, care. I could literally smather my face in mud and you would still think that it looks or you would still say that it looks pretty. All right we're about to go get dinner and maybe check out the rooftop see what it looks like and then probably go to bed early because it's been a long day and we're tired so let's go get food. to recreate the one I had in Boston. That was so good. So half of the rim is tahine and then the other half is salt. It's covering up your face, sorry. So we're gonna try a little bit of it. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Good. It's so good. Better than Boston. Ah. Honestly, yeah. But I like the rim, I like the tahine with the spice. Probably. 
probably the fresher juice. Yeah, better tequila. Now it's in. <laughs> we miss him too much. <laughs> Day two. Our place is literally exploded, so don't mind the mess. But it's 8 a.m. now. We are about to go, I think, find breakfast and then go work out because Jake has to work out every day while we're here. <laughs> it is dragging me along. Okay, how do I sit in this hammock? Here we go. Ooh, this is nice. I'm just excited to have like a full day. We're gonna go to the pool or the beach early. Literally just lay in the sun all day and I couldn't be more excited about it. I really wanna get a good tan. I do have a spray tan, I think I mentioned that yesterday, but you can tan while you have a spray tan if you didn't know that. I did extensive Google research to make sure. But anyways, I think we're about to get up, get dressed, and go find some breakfast. got back from breakfast and working out. Just changed into a bathing suit. I'm just wearing this orange one. Literally from Nasty God. I didn't even know they had bathing suits until their Black Friday sale was on their website. This cover up is some brand on Revolve. I don't remember, it was also on sale. It's 10.30 now. We're about to go to the rooftop to lay out, swim, and literally just chill. I'm excited because we went to the rooftop last night. I think I'm gonna wash my face really fast and I wanted to show what I use when I travel. Sorry, ignore Jake's grooming over here. Bzzz. All right, so this is what I typically bring on vacation, just face cleanser, eye cream, HA serum, vitamin C, moisturizer, and SPF. So about to do that real quick. Oh, and then at night I use retinol. I just brought this like baby Sunday Riley one. I got these in a pack from Amazon for like 30 bucks. Dude, look at all this hair that just came off my face. Bro. You're a hairy boy. You're not going to the beach with your face looking like a glazed donut. What is that? You're not doing it right. Alright, I'm ready to go. Beach day. Vamanos. Vamos a la playa. <laughs> it's a mi me gusta bailar. A mi me gusta baila. That means I love to dance. Vamos a la playa. Stop. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they just set this up in a room for us. He has a little cake and champagne. That was so freaking sweet. <sighs> All right, just changed so fast. I look like a tangerine. <laughs> look like a slicked back tangerine. You just sound like a tangerine. <laughs> Did my makeup in five minutes? Let's go eat. I'm starving. Our reservation's at 6.30 and it is 6.32. Look at us. <laughs> so we gotta go. Wearing the same shoes I wore yesterday. They're actually really comfortable. We pretty much just hung out by the pool all day. We, what else did we do? Like catch, and then we threw the football for a little bit, and then we did some um, some stunts in the pool. <laughs> Acted like we were five again. So that was really fun. I don't know how you do feel like that. We're a machine. So good. Mango especia, yeah. uh, Mexican roll, and jalapeno tuna. Very good. Uh, the flour, the salmon, the fresh stuff. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Stop. We just got to our room and Jake was like, oh, there's a rose puddle on our handle. <laughs> rose puddles. Oh my god. It's like it's our honeymoon. <laughs> You're kidding me. I'm scared that they're in here right now. Mm -hmm. Like what? There's even a heart on the... Oh my god. 
You would literally think that it's our honeymoon. <laughs> this is neat. Oh, this is so nice. What the heck? We were literally just talking. We are like, we're going to get in the bathtub when we get back. And look, they already drew a bath. Yeah, this is a nice little... Surprise. Good morning. It's the next day. It's like 8.30. I just woke up. Did my skincare. Oh my gosh, this is already getting foggy. It is so humid out here. It's insane. But we're about to go work out. Well, we're going to eat breakfast first and then go work out. So I just threw on this workout set from Aloe. And this jacket is really my favorite jacket ever. So like a little cropped hoodie from Aritzia. And then I got this new hat for Jake's new team. Oh, I also haven't mentioned Jake got traded from the Braves to the Tigers organization like a month ago now, I guess. He got his spring training date yesterday, so he has to go down there February 14th on Valentine's Day. But it's fine. I'm just gonna have another relaxing day. This place is literally paradise. I'm not ready to leave. I love how quiet it is in the mornings. We're starving, so about to go downstairs and grub. Got all the beverages. All of them. Jake got orange juice, I got green juice. And it's actually really freaking good. Jake <laughs> just said that I look like a doofus with my ears stuck into doofus. my hat. Said but I showed him what I look like. She looks like an elf. This is what I look like. With them poked out. out. I don't know if you can really tell. I look stupid. Come here. He thinks that this looks better than this. No. I think we're gonna post up at the pool today. We did the beach yesterday. I missed one spot on my leg, and of course, I yeah, got fried. Right, right. It's the only spot on my whole body. All right, just got dressed. Oh, one minute. Open it up, open it up. Oh, uh, I'm trying to get out of the room so they can clean it, but Mr. I get sunburned if I sit in the sun for two minutes. I have to put on this sunscreen. Have we decided where we're going to go? We're just going to go by the pool. Lay out, get a little good tan going, and then probably play catch in the pool, and then do some stunts. <laughs> Yesterday, we were acting a fool, and people were definitely staring at us, probably like, who are these kids, and who let them in? Where are their parents? Where are these children's guardians? We were acting like four-year-olds. That was fun, though. I thought it was cool. Hey, can we take a minute? I don't know how many times I've told Summer what? how to properly set a glove. I didn't put those right there. It goes like that. Oh my god, this boy and his gloves. We take care of gloves around here. I don't know how to take care of gloves. I don't play baseball. We just had some lunch. I literally inhaled my fish tacos. <laughs> that, that's what they look like. Literally fire. I could eat this all day, every day. So fire. We just got upstairs. Got a little burnt on oh, my freaking back. My sunscreen. That's mm -hmm. some serious. Burn. Yeah, it was. I fell asleep in the sun for like 10 minutes, though. It wasn't that long. And I got burnt on my back, but it's fine. It's better than like my face getting burnt. But I just showered, washed my hair, and now we're getting ready for dinner. It's 4 40. We have dinner reservation at 6 30 at the steakhouse here. I'm so excited. I'm starving. Also, Mexican Diet Coke is better than American Diet Coke. Don't come for me. They call it Coca Cola Light, but I'm guessing it's just like Diet Coke, right? Because it's the silver yeah. can. I don't know, but it's really good. I really don't feel like doing my makeup right now, but it has to be done. These are really the best when you're on vacation because I don't really tan my face when I lay out just because you know it's bad for your face I just had a work call so just got off that Jack Jake I just called you Jack Jake is laying in the bed oh to be a boy to not have to do anything before getting ready for dinner like literally just has to put on an outfit like I envy you actually for that reason I'm so sad this is our last night here we leave tomorrow our flights at like four I think but the guy at the airport was like you need to get or you need to leave your hotel four hours in advance and so we were like okay we have a wedding on Saturday that we have to go to so cannot get stuck here I think I'm gonna try the Hailey Bieber Kendall Jenner makeup artist whatever her trick she puts on bronzer and concealer before foundation so i think i'm gonna try that today i think i'm just gonna use my hands today i already have a feeling that my makeup is gonna look like trash but oh well whoops my camera turned off in the middle of that but i just did the concealer and then i did a little bit of foundation like just in the patches that didn't have any color and i think i really like it i think it just makes it look like super natural 
purple and not as like cakey and like a lot of makeup. A little baking powder moment. I don't know how I ever went about in life without baking. Like I discovered baking like honestly a couple months ago. Baking? <laughs> you just like put powder on your face and then you let it like literally bake into your face and then you wipe off the excess like five minutes later. I feel like I need to explain like this trip a little bit better. Here, ever since we got here, it's just been kind of like a montage kind of thing with like food and playing out by the pool. But basically, we've been here since Monday. It's currently Thursday. We leave tomorrow. So this trip was five days and four nights. And basically, January is like the only month that we really get to travel travel anywhere because I cheer almost full year round is what it feels like but our season starts in basically May when tryouts are and then we have preseason in August and then we had our last game this past Sunday and so my off season basically just started this week and Jake playing baseball he's been in his off season since September and then he goes to spring training in February so really like our off season only overlaps in January so it's like the one month that we get to do anything that's kind of like why we booked this trip because our anniversary is in September but that's during both of our seasons so we don't get to like do a trip or anything like that so we plan to do a trip like this every January as long as I'm cheering and he's playing baseball that's the only month that we get to do it so it's honestly worked out and it's fun and it gives us something to like look forward to and it's honestly a really good month to travel because I feel like a lot of people do their traveling like either in the summer or during the holidays like December or like the very beginning of January like for the new year so to go in the middle of January I feel like it's been perfect I don't know but yeah that's why we're here tonight we're going to the steakhouse I think I already said that on the property I'm so excited I think I'm gonna finish my makeup really fast I only have to like put mascara on and then blow dry my hair and then I'll show you what I end up wearing tonight all right just got dressed we are ready to go dinner reservations at 6 30 at 6 20 look at that timing dress of the night to la rosa off of revolve shoes i'm literally obsessed with these shoes they're so freaking comfortable from gianna beanie or something like that this <laughs> Disgusting room. Shakes O T D. Also, I didn't realize how burnt I was until just now. Mm. Looking in the mirror. Skin's a little torched. Do you have a room key? You do? Swear to God. Okay. Look at Jake's little fit. Looks like he's about to go golfing. Did you just trip? Uh-huh. Yeah. That's a house. <laughs> That's a pond. <laughs> Get back here. I'm so excited to eat. What are you gonna get? I'm gonna get a freaking tomahawk. Is that what you're gonna call to go down and get breakfast, coffee, and then hang by the pool for a little before we leave. Jake is packing. I'm all packed up. Okay, packing cubes are literally the best things ever. Like I already have my laundry that I need to do when I get home separated. It's so nice. Shoes and everything, it's wonderful. Highly recommend. But last swimmy of the trip is actually my favorite one. It's from Beach Riot, and then this little cover up is somewhere off of Revolve. I don't know what brand. Taking in the last few moments of vacation. This place has literally been a dream. So we ate there last night. That was the steakhouse. It's definitely the best meal of the trip, I think. And then we had Hiroshi, which was like Japanese the night before. Over there is Blanca Blue, that's the Mexican restaurant. And then apparently there's an Italian restaurant like at the end of our side, but we did not try that. We just weren't really in the mood for Italian. Oh my God, I wish you could see. There's like an obstacle course like floating in the ocean. I don't think they have it out right now. I don't know if they take it in. Jake just said that they pull it in every day and they put it back out like 11 to four or something. So it's like this big obstacle course. We did it yesterday and I beat Jake I whooped his butt in one round and then we did it again going backwards and he pushed me off So that's, that's cheating. Lie. So I won by default. 
That's a lie. That's not a lie. Jake, you literally pushed me off. Oh man, but I think I'm about to go get coffee downstairs and then we're gonna go just sit by the pool, like probably just in the shade because we're not trying to get all sweaty and sticky before our flight. Plus, but we both got burnt yesterday. Yeah, we both got a little crispy. Not us literally getting the same thing every day, basically. <laughs> We like what we like. So today I switched up. I got peach yogurt instead of mango or strawberry. So I've switched up every day. <laughs> uh -huh. the flavor. Also, this coffee is banging. Just got like a vanilla latte from the Starbucks. Also, this green juice. I need the recipe because it's so good. It's like kiwi pineapple. I don't know. But French toast, chocolate croissant, and there's kind of like lemon Danish thing. We just finished up breakfast. Fire, like always. I think I'm gonna miss that the most, honestly. But we're just posted up on these two chairs. Here's our view. We're gonna lay in those hammocks, but Jake is scared that his butt is gonna get wet. <laughs> I got a fat butt. <laughs> oh, please. I mean, look, John the little kids scraping the water. Yeah, I mean, there's like 70 pound kids over there that are scraping the water, so. Yeah, your fat butt is definitely sinking. But anyways, we're just gonna chill here for about an hour, two hours. Well, we have to head back. They're gonna take our luggage down at 12 and then we have to meet the car out front at 12.15 to go back to the airport. And then our flight's around four and then I think we'll land back in Atlanta. Seven, I think it's seven. So not too bad. I'm so glad that we're gonna have to like switch time zones. That's huge. So we have to go get our dog and then go back home and go back to reality. We've had literally the best trip ever. Highly, highly recommend staying at Garza Blanca if you want to go to Mexico like for honeymoon, anniversary, or just like a getaway. And I recommend doing five days. I think five days was perfect, don't you think? Yeah. Four nights, five days. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and end off the vlog now since we're just gonna go back to the room, get our stuff, and then head to the airport. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.